Hey guys, so usually when we type something into an edit text field and press enter or this button down here, this happens. The cursor jumps into a new line and our edit text grows. But instead you might want to restrict the input to one line and have the cursor jump to the next input field when we press enter or this button. I will show you how to do this in this video and as usual I will put a link to the code of this example into the description box. And for this I have already prepared the layout you just saw with these two edit texts. And restricting the input to one line is easy, but it's not as intuitive as you would expect. Because if we take a look at the attributes, single line is deprecated, so we shouldn't use this. And when we type in line, we can see different attributes, like Android colon lines or Android colon max lines, but they just restrict the height of the edit text. So we can still type in more than one line, but we will always only see one line. If we instead want to be able to uh, type in only one line and then jump to the next input field when we press enter, we have to define an input type. By default, this is set to a text multiline, which has the behavior that we just saw. If we take any other input type, single line will be set to one internally. And if we just want our default text input, then we choose input type text. This will show the same keyboard as we have when we don't define an input type. We copy this for our second edit text. And now when we test it again, type something in. And as you can see down here, this button changed. We don't have the same return image as we had before. And now when we click this button, we jump to the next edit text field. And as you can see, now we have this check mark because this is the last edit text field. So when we press this, our keyboard disappears. And this makes more sense for most input forms. If this was helpful, please leave a like. And if you want more intro tutorials, don't forget to subscribe. Take care.